today I'm going to be showing you how to use world edit schematics. It's super straightforward once you learn how to use them. So make sure obviously you have world edit downloaded. The easiest way to do this is through CurseForge. So go ahead and install CurseForge. After you've done that, go ahead and click Minecraft and then search up world edit, which will then lead you to the world edit mod. And if you click this, it'll basically just direct you into a profile on your CurseForge that has world edit on it. Go ahead and press play. This will launch you into the instance, but I'm assuming you've already done this and you're in your world and you have cheats on so that you can use these world edit commands. What we're going to then do is slash slash wand, which will then give us the axe that we're looking for. So what you want to do in this case is then use this to select using left click and right click. Another thing you can do is slash slash POS one, which will then select the block that we're standing in and then POS two, which will then select this block. And just to demonstrate that we're just going to set that to grass block using this command and boom. So as you can see, that's another way to select it. But what we're going to do here is mess around with schematics. OK, whether it's a schematic that you've downloaded or one that you're making in the world, I'm going to be running through both instances. So really quickly, if you want to find a schematic in this world, what you're going to want to do is select one corner of the schematic that you want and then the second corner of the schematic that you want and then create copy. Right. This will then copy it from this position that you're in right now. If I go up into the air, you can see that I can actually paste the schematic. But is it a schematic already? No, it is basically just on your clipboard. Similar to when you're writing text, you do control A, control C. It only saves it to the clipboard. It doesn't save as a schematic file. So how do you save it as a schematic file? Well, what you're going to want to do is do slash slash schematic and then save and then name it something. So this is just me naming it as test. Then let's say you're on a new world or some somewhere else. What you're then going to want to do is do this same command. But instead of save, you're going to do load. OK, and then that allows you to paste it in at different worlds. Now, you might be curious to where this is actually saved, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is going to actually take you out of Minecraft, and let's assume you're not even using CurseForge. The easiest way to do this in the single player, by the way, is Escape Options Resource Packs Open Folder. This will literally drag you into the folder that this is located in, go one folder back, and then go into Config, World Edit, schematics and there's your schematic which you can literally just send around give it to anybody you want or just save it as a backup but let's assume it's on a server if you don't own the server or have access to the backend files you won't be able to see them but they're basically within the plugins folder if it is the world edit plugin or the configs folder and it's the same process you're just looking through the config files to locate the schematic if there's a search within your console you can just search that there hopefully this was helpful and if it was consider subscribing